Hi guys, so I'm filming a Q&A today and I thought it would be a fun little experiment for this one to not cut it and not edit it and you guys can see all my mistakes and all my word jumbles and anything else that goes on or wrong in the background. So I'm just going to set a timer for, let's do 12 minutes, so 12 minutes if it will ever focus. Come on. I don't think we're going to get there. Anyway, 12 minutes. I'm starting that now and I'm just going to jump on my Instagram because that's where I get you guys to ask me your questions. And I have a question for you because I always have a question for you guys. Um, what's your favorite movie? I'd love to hear it. I've answered my favorite one in a previous Q&A. It's Beyond the Black Rainbow. I also really like the film Gattaca. It's so weird doing this without editing, but I've seen a couple of other YouTubers do it and I'm like, it's really cool because you get to know the person a lot better, I think. So pretty much with my Q&As, I just like jump through the Instagram posts. I haven't read them yet, so I'm just going to jump through. I try to answer the ones that I get asked a lot. Okay. Um, what can I do to stay motivated to work out? Because I'm doing it a lot and I don't want to lose motivation after a while. I find it's best to have a routine. I feel like I say this so many times, but um, having a routine will really help you out. Um, that way you actually get used to just exercising. You don't have to convince yourself to do it. I know I normally like wake up and then I go and I like do some work and then I go for my workout and then I come back home. Like I'm just in the habit of doing that now. Okay. Oh, by the way, I could not be bothered to do my hair because I'm in the middle of like packing all my stuff for Japan because I leave in like 13 hours. So by the time you're watching this, I'll probably already be in Japan. Actually, I'm going to schedule it for when I'm there. Uh, da -da. Could you do a makeup tutorial of this look? Absolutely stunning. Plus, where do you go? Clothes and shoe shopping. Any online stores you recommend? Thank you. Um, <laughs> that makeup look that I'm doing in that photo is pretty much just like foundation and a lot of highlighter like a liquid highlighter the Becca liquid highlighter and then the Becca powder highlighter and then I've also got on I just use like the Anastasia Beverly blah, blah, blah. there we go already Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow pomade but I just like shoved it all around my eyelids like I'm doing now um because I just find it's like a good base to stick eyeshadows to if you want to look like a raccoon and then I went and I put a Stilla window to the eyes palette, something. I use like the dark brown and the dark purple from that palette. Um, clothes and shoes shopping. I like Netta Porter. I like Shop Bob. And then I was just recently contacted by these guys at Legom. Legom? Oh, I'm going to butcher things. Uh, Legom Studio. And they only bring in like ethical and sustainably made fashion, which is awesome because so much of that stuff... It's just, it's just so ugly, but they actually find stuff that looks good as well, which is really cool. <laughs> Will you ever do a video showing your tattoos? You don't have to talk about them if you don't want to. Love your videos. Whenever I see one of your videos, it just gives me immense inspiration. Thank you. Um, maybe, like, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I don't know. Like, I love showing my tattoos, obviously, because I have them in places where everyone can see them. But I just don't really talk about them, and some of them are purely decorative. Like, for example, my fingers and my ears and stuff like that. Uh, but maybe. I've been thinking about it. Rachel, what's your opinion on alcohol while trying to lose weight? I do promotional work, basically a party girl for hire. And drinking comes with the job. What can I do to prevent gaining weight while still being able to have a good time? Alcohol is never great when it does come to weight loss and just overall health. I know it can be hard, especially... Australia has such a huge drinking culture. I don't know how you guys are in other countries when you're in, like, late teens, early 20s. Um, but in Australia, the legal drinking age... Legal drinking age is 18, but a lot of people drink before that anyway. It's just, like, a huge part of socialising here. Um, alcohol will really, really inhibit your human growth hormone after... Like for, it's like for three days after you have the alcohol, so I believe, I'd have to check it, but I believe it's something ridiculous, like 73% that it's inhibited by. Um, it also just makes you sluggish and slow in your workouts, you're not going to get the full extent. Plus, if you had already worked out beforehand, your DOMS from the workout will be a lot worse. Um, 
still have a good time. Have you considered, I've done this before, like I don't recommend it on a regular basis, but instead of drinking, I'd have like a pre-workout and then go out. It stops you from having the alcohol and you still get all like the energy and the like happiness, I guess. <laughs> okay. Rachel, I need some tips on how to stay motivated when so busy with school and stressed out. Plus, how do you keep your skin and hair so amazing? Love you. Love you guys too. But let me tell you, my skin is awful right now. So I had like a hormonal breakout from my PCOS. It's so much better than it was. Like, it was horrific. I'll be showing you guys in the PCOS vlog that I'm doing because I took some clips with no makeup on and it was just so inflamed. Um, but it's calming back down again. And I think changing my diet really like threw it more out of whack before. Uh, hair, I, I'm really specific with what I do to my hair, so I've been contemplating making a video about that, like the products I use and all of that sort of stuff. Um, staying motivated when so busy. I would say, again, routine. And with the busyness, you need to figure out, like, are you wasting your time as well? Because I know years and years ago, like when I used to be like, oh, I'm so stressed with high school and blah, blah, blah. I'd spend ages on my laptop just watching videos, procrastinating. So where's the time that you're wasting and how can you do something a bit more productive with it? I'm just gonna check how long. Oh my God, we only have six minutes left on this timer. I don't know why I'm humming so much today. What's your opinion on fasted cardio? Also, how bad is it if I don't eat after a workout? Fasted cardio is fine. Um, it's a good way for burning fat, especially if it's you know early in the morning, you wake up, you go for a walk or a run or some kind of, like if I have boxing in the morning, I'm not gonna eat beforehand, I'll eat afterwards. Also, how bad is it? You should be eating after a workout, even if it's or like a protein shake or a smoothie or something, you just really need to refuel your body and that way it can repair properly. What are your thoughts on or experiences with yoga? I'm not a yoga girl. Like, oh, I'm a weightlifting girl. I I can't do yoga, oh my God. I get so bored, like kudos to you if you can do it, but I just, I hate it so much. I hate anything, like any activity where I have to be like still and tranquil and focus on slow movements. That pains me so much. Um, yeah, not for me. And also, I found this hilarious study that came out. Anyone who knows me in real life, they know that I'm just not like a yoga Pilates person. I'm just not into it. And a, um, a study came out, I can't remember which university did it, but they found out that yoga, it depends on which type of yoga, but there were quite a few classifications of yoga which aren't actually physically exerting enough to be considered exercise. It's in the same category as like slow walking or standing still, which <laughs> I don't know. So I feel like yoga is good for restorative purposes, like. I guess clearing your mind if you're into that sort of thing or you know gaining flexibility but as an exercise probably not unless you're doing like a more intense form of yoga or like a bikram yoga something like that um how the fact that you have pcos has changed your thinking about the best way to lose weight and build muscle i'm dealing with that too sending you love and support thank you um okay so with the pcos i did have to adapt my diet to a low carb diet and that's been helping me out a lot. So um, I think I mentioned it in the last video, like I managed to lose four kilograms of weight. I don't normally try and get too hung up on weight because I do have a really high like muscle mass percentage anyway, which makes me a bit heavier. Um, what else was, what am I saying? And the supplementation side of things, that's become really, really important. I used to be, like I'd take my supplements and then like the next day I forget and then I'm like, oh, you know, and get really lax with it. But now I have to be like on top of it, remembering to take my supplements at the right time of day, like every day. Which places are on your bucket list that you want to visit? I am, this has put me on the spot. There's a lot of places that I would like to visit. Um, Vietnam. I want to go to the US because there's people that I know online that I'd like to meet in both New York and LA. Um, Iceland, I wanted to go there for so long. Probably Amsterdam. But again, there's a lot of places.
How do you keep motivation when PCOS makes it four times harder to lose weight and four times easier to gain? I've given up. Hearing that you have PCOS made me a glimmer of hope and that you can do it and that if you can do it, anyone can. Thank you. Yeah, PCOS makes it really, really tough and I was wondering why I was in such a plateau for so long. Um, for me, it's really about how can I feel the healthiest because I know when I'm not training and when I'm not eating properly for some reason, like if I'm traveling or something like that and they supply the food for us, because that's happened on a few trips that I go to like for brand collaborations and stuff. I'm just checking how long's left. Two minutes! Ah, oh, I need to talk faster. <laughs> um, but it's about, because I know how I, f like how good I feel when I feel healthy. And I know when I start to slip off how bad I feel. And for me, it's about getting back to that feeling good. Like once you've reached that place where you feel really good and fit and healthy, you want to stay there. And it's about like maintaining that inner health, I guess. Um, if you're already in a place where you're not healthy, I guess it's about figuring out, well, how can you get there? Because once you get there, I guarantee you won't want to leave there. Um... How many tattoos do you have and do you regret one of them? Depends how you want to count them because some of them are a lot of little things put together. Like for example, my fingers I think and hands, I think there's like 10 here, but I just call it one. And the same as like my ear, there's a few separate ones, but I just call it one. So if we're calling like all the little ones together, one each, then like, I mean like that's one, that's one. Um, then I would say I have 12. If you count them individually, then I don't know. Um, there was one that I didn't like and it was this finger one here. It had like a line and then it had like dots. I don't remember which way. I think it was a line on the bottom and then it was dots at the top. And I just got my tattoo artist to change the dots to a line and I like it a lot better. Um... I've thought about vlogging or starting a YouTube channel and was wondering what advice you have for newcomers. Be consistent and offer something to your audience. Like what can you give them? Is it entertainment? Like are you a funny person or are you offering some kind of advice or something like that? You have to give people a reason to want to watch and then also a reason to want to stay. When will you be making something about your granite headboard? Um, oh, how do I turn that off now? Okay. Uh, the headboard, I'm thinking of making it in a DIY video with three other things in the video and one of them my friend is helping me make so I've got to get together a time with her and I also have to buy more of the marble so maybe when I'm back from Japan, like I'd like to do that because the two other DIYs I want to make anyway. Alright, so we've run out of time. I feel like I didn't get as many questions answered as I really would have liked to but it was only, what did I say, like 12 minutes? It's not that long. But anyway, don't forget to leave me the answer to your question in the comments. And also, if you are new, please hit subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It's such a little thing to do and it does help me out if you give the video a thumbs up. I was going to say something. I would usually cut it here and then do my end. But anyway, um, oh wow, this is getting so awkward now. Anyway, I will catch you guys in my next video. See you next time. I hope you're all really well.